Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie Bit My Finger instead. Okay, evening everyone. Back on the bunnies this evening. It's a beautiful, lovely evening, really nice. Um, it's got rubbish weather the rest of the week. So I took advantage, got out tonight. Uh, I, if you just watched the little video before this, uh, I showed you where I drove in. There's an area that I've not shot this year yet, actually. That I've just drove past to see how it were going and uh, plenty of rabbits there so I'm gonna have a couple of hours here on the now infamous nettle bank near the golf course and um, when when it starts to get dark which is it's about nine o'clock now it starts to get dark uh, I'm gonna go back up there with the impact and uh, put the night vision on and uh, see what's out there was about six or seven out as I drove up there so hopefully they'll still be waiting for me when I get there um, there's a couple of workers still milling around up there at the minute so I'm going to stay down this end just to um, just to keep out of the way because everybody knows what I'm doing but some people a bit squeamish than others it's best to keep a low profile in it and not cause any ripples so uh, I'm going to have an hour or two here, drink me, uh, me Coke Zero, just got from Mackey's. It's about, uh, about seven o'clock uh, in the evening, so I've got a couple of hours, probably just under a couple of hours of daylight left. So, I'll see how we get on. Okay. Okay, first rabbit. He was actually out when I got there, when I was filming that first bit you just saw. Um, if you look at the distance, it's 43 yards. So what I've actually done is I've not pulled the car close enough to the hedge line because this is directly in front of me. So what I'll do is take him, once I've put the safety catch off, and then after I've taken him, what I'll do is jump back in the car and pull it forward. Because um, I'm being, I want to be 32 yards, 30 yards from the hedge line. Um, which gives me like a 45 degree window either side um, to shoot out to about 45 yards as you'll see see now I've pulled the car forward and I pinged the hedge line in front of me where I just shot that first one and now it's 32 yards away that's why the scope was set to 32 yards but this one is just over to my left and I've pinged him and now he's at 45 yards or if I'd have left the car there before it would have been at about 55 yards and just probably just too far to take so I'll give him a bit of a squeak he doesn't seem that interested but I like it when they're facing me and so I put one straight between his eyes there we go and that's lights out for him so now I'm settled on the bipod just how I want to be like I said just in front of me is 32 yards to the nettle line so the next one he comes out on king of the hill on top of the uh, dune uh, I'm okay taking him because there's nothing beyond there except a driving range which closes at 7 so I know there's nobody on there anyway so I'm just got him so he can present himself between the thistles he'll actually just sit still a minute so I'll give him a little squeak just to make him stop. There we are. Just lovely. Just there. So that's the third one. He doesn't get very far as you can see. And he was up there when I went and fetched him. See that's nice 32 yard distance there. This is just how I like it. And the next one is actually virtually next to that one I just shot 
and uh, must be there's, there was an entrance to the warren over the back of the bank when I went and had a look um, so they're just coming out there so if you look just to the right you can just make out in the red circle that's the one I just shot so uh, now she's sitting behind the thistles and I don't want to take that shot because any deflection could cause problems it doesn't take a lot to deflect an air gun pellet so I'm squeaking away now just trying to get her to uh, present the temple for me and as, as ever they're freezing and listening so oh, that's better I can get you there right between the eye and the ear and that's it backflip and it's all over it was a lovely evening not a drop of wind it was absolutely beautiful you can see the plants aren't moving at all the next one just get ready and sits and faces away from me so it doesn't present me with any shot whatsoever so what I'll do is blow it a little kiss just to try and get it to uh, turn itself and as usual because it's a female when I blow a kiss she runs away story of my life Never mind, you can't win them all. Nice bee though. So hopefully, this one is that one that I just ran off. Because it came out a few minutes later, just below where I was shooting, or attempting to shoot that one. And I'll never know, but there we are. So he just drifts around and gets in the way, so I'll give her a bit of a squeak, that's it sit still, temple and out only 36 yards away that's fine, the next one I just happened to look round the front of my car and noticed this one so I pinged him and he's at 52 yards which is about as far as I want to shoot really but no problem with the impact at that distance um, you know, it looks one old groups at that distance, especially when there's absolutely no wind whatsoever. Uh, I've got no issues with the accuracy of it, otherwise I wouldn't have took the shot. It's perfect. Okay, that was six in the bag. And there they are, using the JSB RS pellets, which it really likes. So I decided to go back to where I first filmed to just spend the evening when it starts to get dark with those others and uh, as ever that doesn't go to plan but I had the gun at side of me I drove around the corner and I saw one so I pulled the car up wound the passenger window down and he ran away and I thought it was a loss but then I realised his mate had lingered so I thought it'd be a shame to leave him so we'll have him as the plus one nice clean shot so I didn't get to get round to the uh, bit where I wanted to be at the start because somebody had pitched a tent there so I'd like to leave that for another video. This is the uh, recent scouting scouting outing with the rabbits that I shot um, spoke to you about in a few videos ago don't go to waste nice free range meat kids learning some skills can't go wrong brilliant okay if you enjoyed that like subscribe and share and until next time take care we'll see you soon <laughs>